Hi, this is Dawn from Creative Appliques. Today I want to talk about the Bernina software. I have um, Bernina Designer Plus 7 software, but I think that this also refers to earlier versions as well. One of the issues that um, is occurring with the Bernina software when a design with a fill stitch pattern is brought into it, the software can change the um, fill stitch pattern of a design. Now, why is the Bernina software doing this? It's because the Bernina software is digitizing software. And when you bring a design such as this, natural circle honeycomb font into the software, if this fill stitch pattern is not recognized within the Bernina software, it will change the fill stitch pattern. So let's um, show you what I'm talking about because this looks perfectly fine. I'm going to show you what can happen and then show you how to fix it. So right now we will bring in these same exact letters a, B, R. So I'm going to create a new one and have the letter A. That looks perfectly fine. And because we're doing a monogram, we want to start with the one letter and then import it. So we come up here to the import and then we'll scroll down and get the B, the middle B. And that one looks fine too. Now let's get the R. So you can see the software here changed the fill stitch pattern of the letter R to make it look like it's tatami here and then some of the fill stitch pattern here and then a satin stitch, a very long satin stitch here. But when you go to the import and you scroll down and you look at the letter R over here, it looks completely fine, doesn't it? You can see all of the honeycomb pattern right there within the letter. But when you bring it into the software, it completely changes that fill stitch pattern. So let's um, show you how to fix this. So we're going to click on new. We're going to get a new canvas here. We go click on design, click on fabric. And here in this box, automatically selected is apply fabric. The software is telling us what fabric to, to sew on. Um, and so we're going to uncheck that box, remove that check mark, and then click OK. And with that check mark removed, now we're going to bring in the designs. So instead of going to open, we're not going to open, we are going to go to import. So we're going to import into the, the embroidery in. So we have the A, and you can see it looks fine right there. We're going to open it. Okay. We're going to bring in the letter, the middle B. Whoops. A works too. Let's do the middle B so we can do exactly, replicate exactly what we had on the other one. And now we'll bring in the right R. And voila, you can see the stitch pattern here is exactly like it should be. So let's go over those steps again. We create a new canvas, new blank canvas. We go up to design, fabric. And because this is a new canvas, it automatically selected apply fabric. We uncheck that and we click OK. And now we import. We're not going to open, we're going to import. So we're going to import the left A. We are going to import the middle B. And we are going to import the right R. And there we go. 
we have the fill stitch pattern integrity maintained um, as the, um, the design was digitized. I hope this information was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to be informed when we upload new videos. You can find us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram as Creative Appliques. We are also on Twitter at C Appliques. And of course, all of our designs are available on our website, www.creativeappliques.com. Thanks for joining me today and make your life creative.